Welcome back to Valorant and a Challengers. A pretty exciting matchup that we got to see out of Thinking Men versus St. Clair. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing that second map. Of course, Thinking Men taking that victory marks uh, down in that first game. Yeah, I mean, Thinking Men win it out 13 to 9. And on top of that, too, with how things were going, we got 6-6 six, six and a half, and then suddenly St. Clair win three rounds in a row. Uh, but Thinking Men, they more or less go pretty much undefeated at that point on, and they just win round after round after round. And uh, quite frankly, they were looking extremely good doing so, with once again excellent utility usage when they were entering in and taking over some of these sites. No, they did an immaculate job. I, I think Saint players, like, they had such a good start. Uh, but overall, yeah, like, players like before making it almost impossible to even get onto the site to play that post plant positioning and d pulling away with plays like that. And I think majority of it was, I, I did see a lot of the time St. Clair's were just really, really aching to get some sort of engagement, to get some sort of pick. So then you tended to see, yeah, 1v1s like these where you're playing this 2v, 2v2 post plant scenario and you're peeking by yourself. You're giving in to these fights without any util, without any assistance. And so I think that's where the main problem stood throughout that game. Of course, maybe there was a discomfort in the map. So we are heading over uh, to that next map pick of, I believe it is Ascent. So hopefully with that warm up already coming through for Saints, um, maybe that'll work out just a bit. Yeah, and this is one of the things that I wanted to highlight about the Thinking Men strategy on this last round, which was, you know, they were pretty go forwards and get those kills. And on top of that, too, you look at the first kills, that kind of paints the picture really nicely for them. Every single time that they were looking for those engagements, it's so easy to talk about how Reformed was just like popping off, finding all those kills, da -di -da -di -da -di -la. but at the same time, they were all, whenever they took the sites, we also saw flank control happen. Even before they took the sites, they were already cycling people around. And actually on the Thinking Men's side, Anderson ends up being the MVP. And that is mostly just because of how effective those paranoias as well as smokes that were coming through to make sure that the rest of the team were able to get those kills really easily on the entry. Yeah, it's a, a quick entry in to come through. Uh, again, a fantastic gameplay in general. I, I really did like uh, just the TPs that we got to see from Anderson too. It, it, a lot of the time probably shouldn't have worked out the way that it did. <laughs> uh, but of course, Anderson held it down when it came to the game. Of course, I mean, again, huge congratulations. We've been over to Thinking Men once more. It was a spectacular showing of a game. But again, that second map of Ascent is what we're looking forward to. And like I've said before, it, it's St. Clair's kind of moving towards a, a bit more towards them in terms of win condition. I think St. Clair with the warm up obviously going up against a uh, you know, previous mm -hmm. team. Could it work out for the better? I, I, I'd assume so. They have some yeah. sort of playing time within that map today. They're feeling pretty comfortable, of course, kind of reading into the play style as well of thinking men, hopefully fixing their mistakes of taking those 1v1s. Yeah, and this is one of those things, too. I mean, coming up into this matchup, we talked about it before we even started map number one. Uh, St. Clair Saints look very comfortable on Ascent. We also, too, just watched them play it with Lucky 7, and they won that one in overtime. But yeah. on the flip side of it, thinking men in the Open Qualifier 1, Open Qualifier 2 tournament, it's been pretty shaky on Ascent. Uh, they, they're only coming in with a 50% win rate, whereas St. Clair Saints are walking in with an 88% win rate. And so that's why we kind of said, you know, it's so important that the Thinking Men win Lotus because if they get St. Clair going and then they walk into Ascent, it's just such an uphill battle. But the Thinking Men have leveled out the playing field. And once we get ready and get into this next map, like they're going to try to capitalize on the momentum that they've picked up against St. Clair and hopefully win this out two to zero. But I don't know. It's kind of looking like we might be seeing that map number three. I, I think it is a huge possibility. I mean, St. Clair's they did a pretty good adaptability on the last map. Of course, it was just very difficult. Lotus felt way more comfortable in terms of the aggressive playstyle that came through from Thinking Men. And Thinking Men, they stayed actually up in that upper bracket run for a while for a reason. So when you're looking at those factors, it's a team that really ran through the upper bracket just to be knocked down recently. Um, so you got St. Clair is a team that has been rushing through the lower bracket stage, having to basically face, I guess you could call it like Valorant death in terms of the bracketing. Um, you know, it's one and done for them. And St. Clair's, they've been in this position before. They're pretty comfortable. They're pretty used to it. So, um, you know, kind of taking that into account as well as Ascent, a map they literally just played. So 
um, it, it's looking a bit more in favor for them. Hopefully, uh, obviously, with the agent selection coming up very, very shortly for you guys. I know you guys want to head into the game. We get to see who is running what. I feel like we can get a general idea. It's a scent. It's always the same thing. Let's head over to agent select. Let's see what the heck is going on. Yeah, I mean, even historically, yeah, it's literally just <laughs> mirror literally compositions. It's like staring at your own reflection on the other side of the map, but classic stuff coming through. You got your Sova, you got your Jet, you got the KO, you got the Killjoy, you got the Omen. Uh, sometimes people have been trying out, you know, let's, ooh, maybe let's get the Astra out there. That could be a little bit of a niche pick. But just in general, this has been so stable on this map. And once again, it's a scent. This is the most stable map in the game of Valorant Compers. I'm pretty sure that could be very much undisputed. Ascent, yeah, pretty much. I wasn't expecting anything different. It's always the pretty much the same thing, but it's a comfortable route to take. I mean, this map is, I, I wouldn't say diverse in the sense of agents, obviously not. Uh, I'd say more so it's, it's very hard to really clear the angles in a map like this one. So I think that's why the KO does such a good particular job of really shutting down that Killjoy. And it's just the composition that works. Although I am super excited to see reformed on this map because if we're talking up heavy maps we're talking up heavy reformed <laughs> like this is the best map to really push forward with um you know some sort of super super aggressive defense <laughs> and yeah thinking man they're going to be starting us out on the defense yet again and uh, i'm I, I too imagine we will be seeing reform pick up an operator <laughs> and hold down mid that only seems like an inevitability at this point but this we're kicking it off box. now Taking a look at the thinking men and their positioning, a little bit unconventional. Killjoy usually hangs out on B, but this time around is going to be starting things out onto A. As uh, St. Clair states, they take a lot of space on mid. Actually looking to work themselves up to Saints. Majority of the players already taken down. They've lost their duelist, so that form of entry One is gone as well. Paint oh. doing a very, very great job. Aggressive defense is what we'll get. And thinking men. Not leaving a lot of time for Saints to even figure out what they want to do. Kind of looking like a deer in headlights. I'll be completely blunt with you. No, 100% of the case. I mean, we saw the thinking men. Uh, they gave up all of that mid space. So the St. Clair Saints, they drop down their smokes. They take over all that space and they're like, all right, cool. Let's hang out here for a second while we decide what to do next. And it's in that moment that the thinking men are like, all right, now's our time to pounce. And all the utility starts coming out. They completely just take over that mid presence. And the St. Clair Saints are not expecting that level of aggression on mid. Usually you expect to see that come out of A or maybe the B site, but you don't really expect it to come out on mid just with all the different angles that people can be taking a look at you from. So just like that, the thinking men, they scoop up that first round. I do believe that is the first pistol round that they have won in this matchup as we go yet again to another technical pause. Yeah, it's honestly, I, I, I like the way uh, that they kind of handled that as well. They weren't really giving enough time for Saints to think about what they were doing. Um, which kind of forced them into a very uncomfortable position in the start of that round. They're just looking for the win, honestly, to start off. And, and that first um, I guess I could say second game that they kind of pull through with. Winning that first game too definitely has to give like you a confidence boost, I feel. Oh yeah, absolutely. And once again, they're still sailing off of a pretty successful chain of rounds. Seven in a row on the last map that we were just on. So yeah. they must be feeling nice and confident about themselves, which really sometimes confidence just helps your bullets connect. It's kind of crazy how that works sometimes. I, I'd have to agree. And listen, for Lear, somebody who has been just recently within the few weeks learning how to IGL and really putting that work forward, I would have to say it's been going spectacular so far. It's I'm seeing a lot of really good cohesion within this team. Obviously, the communication has been immaculate. So they're pulling through when it comes down to what the calls are looking like, what the adaptations are looking like. So again, a, a huge portion of that uh, within the last map, I definitely think was reformed. Anderson, uh, they worked so well um, mm -hmm. within the team as well, you know, getting those flanks, making sure that everything is well set and centered. So um, looking forward to seeing how this is going to work out. Tack paw is gone. So now starting into the next round. Yeah, and actually we're being teased right off the bat. Smiley holding this zero point in hand. 
That's gonna get a lot of information, given the people of Thinking Men just on the other side. And yeah, that's gonna detect three, so immediately Fragment comes out as it allows for a moment of pause. Yeah, nice Molly actually to set back the tone for the Team Saints. Pushback oh. looking for a rotation, though Instinct with a nice clearing and a free Spectre as well. But a bit afraid. They know that somebody's watching the angle. They've he heard the Ares. They're just waiting. Yeah, Giza taking a little bit of damage in that exchange as well. But at this point, the Thinking Men, they're not too sure what's going on. Mm -hmm. They got so much information. Three members outside of A and yet gun presence on B. That's a little bit strange. And now actually the St. Clair Saints, they make their way back around and get ready to potentially push up. But I'm looking at paint. Judge in hand, sure, that thing got quote unquote nerfed, but especially in these close range quarters, it's gonna do a lot of damage. Yeah, now the smoke has popped up and it's a free fuel limb coming through a 2k from paint just to keep the players back. Thinking men in a great position, if anything, just to keep this game going. I mean, you've already gotten your two, you've taken left. out the duelist, there's no dash available to actually get yourself onto site. Only thing you can really play with is smiley. Stealing Siderson, though, tosses out the paranoia to try and stall this out just a little bit longer. And quite frankly, the Thinking Men have been doing an excellent job at keeping St. Clair Saints at bay. They have to engage now. Now in suppression coming through on both sides, so nobody's allowed to use the util here. It's an end game. As Instinct trying to keep this round within their grasp, it's not going to happen. Pay for the 3k to keep the round in. I mean, a good way to really end things off 2-0. Yeah, and that's one of the that's one of the biggest issues with attacking on ascent. You know, you get stuck in these chokeholds, and especially too when you're really trying to just bust open the door, especially on that A site, it's so difficult. A single smoke can be such a deterrent, especially too knowing what could be on the other side of it. No presence for St. Clair Saints, unfortunately, on mid. Cut out that option because that's where you need your support coming in from tree to pull them off of that entryway to allow the people to flood through. So thinking men, they hold it to a C as they will be able to get this bonus pretty easily. But now St. Clair Saints, they will have weapons here as Kaiyu already taking a lot of space. Phantom in hand, actually. And that being said, the outlaw is out. And that first shot is in. Caillou getting taken down. That's not going to be a good taste. The Mouse of Saints now reform, still oh, finding one as well. On. Why is that weapon still so strong is the question. <laughs> and it's My just impossible. Uh, uh, 120 to the body. Let alone a, a super, super strong weapon. <laughs> okay, at least standing. Instinct is able to get one. So it doesn't feel as bad, but... Straight up, that's just kind of a feels bad, man. A judge gaming moment uh, with that thing just being so devastating. And then on top of that, too, the outlaw, like you said, so much damage. And that's all of the rifles for the Saints just completely swept onto the floor. Seth, the last person left standing, does have this Vandal. But this is regardless going to be an expensive round, no matter how it turns out. 30 seconds left. Taken in a 3-0, and oh, man, and kind of just eliminating the economy of Saints has got to hurt, especially after losing that last game. And that can really touch up your mental as well. So definitely keeping in Go mind here. that there are, you know, some sort of pauses that we could take in order Ten to read into left. the situation. But of course, still waiting by with the spike, keeping the Vandal in hand. Definitely the best case scenario, making sure that there is at least some sort of hero rifle to take home. Yeah, and meanwhile, on the thinking men's side, I, I want to stress how good of a round that is. Yeah, They could just go and pick up all the rifles of their enemies. I mean, perfect amount. Vix, unfortunately, lost his life in the middle of it, but that's okay because the rest can now just pick up a Vandal or a Phantom. And just like that, like, money-wise, they're looking extremely good. The thinking men very securely in position there. Man, those judge plays, they just hurt me every single time I see them. It's like, it shouldn't be able to do that. It shouldn't be able to do that. And yet it's so consistent at finding kills like that. It's it's so frustrating to see sometimes, Compers. No, it genuinely is. And I guess here it's going to be even harder, especially with the Odin coming down in mid from Lear. Unforgivable to just pull something through like that. Damn. This is, this is so tough for the Saints. I mean, I would argue that they're not even really doing Ooh. anything wrong. It just feels like they're just catching so many unfortunate timings. Now they have to play this one, two people down already. Sure, Seth's still alive with the hero rifle, but looking like it's a little bit too late. 
even with a disadvantage, they're still playing pretty solo. Very, very separated. You'd assume that the best thing that you could do here is kind of take in another player with you. Get that refract potential. Kai Yu, though, doing a pretty good job at taking out picks of their own. 1v2 settled down. Now 2v3 here coming through, thinking men. Even reform down onto the site. So low, you till working out for the better. But then again, we talk about the 1v1s. And leaving yourself in a very, very enemy unfortunate position. It's moments like these that should not happen. Seth getting taken Take down, leaving instinct by themselves. Oh. Fighting this 1v2. Odin already getting some of that damage through. Of course, information settled out. More two players speaking and thinking men playing together. Just make it work. It's so many timings. It's so hard to watch. The St. Clair Saints right now, it just feels like, I don't know, some sort of luck roll is failing consistently because it just feels like when thinking men decide, OK, let's move in. It's the perfect time where the St. Clair Saints are like, uh oh, we're caught in this weird, awkward position. And then it's just an easy spray down. Like, it doesn't feel like there's any real cohesion in these team fights going on. The thinking men just feel like they're in the right place at the right time. And uh, Gompers, I got to call this to your attention. Reformed, not taking the op. Paint going to be the one offing. So we're yeah. back into the meta. We're back into the meta. We're not shaking things up a little bit we too much. We are normal now, yeah. <laughs> Darn. Back into the normality of things, which I think it does suit the jet a bit more well. But of course, I, the Odin suits Take the Sova Lear. Keeping things on lockdown. I really do like that. Understanding somebody slowly working their way up. Of course, having back up there, still watching each other's angles. Just great for thinking men. One Nobody is remaining. left alone, Five and it's down, beautiful from thinking men. A flawless round on ascent. Yeah. And now that is five in a row. It felt like there was a little bit of desperation coming in from the Saints that round. They were just kind of going in there. They were like, okay, we got to go in now. We got to find these wins. But that kind of itch to be able to get your first round on the board made them just play right into the thinking men's hands. And like you said, the Odin so punishing, especially too if you're not being cautious, not playing with your utility to make sure that that is not going to be a threat. And uh, you know what? Statistics, that's the thing about them. Even though they might tell you one story, you don't see how it goes until it's being played out in front of you. The thinking men up five rounds now on the Saints. It's unfortunate, too, because you can see Caillou getting taken out so early on throughout the game. And it's every single round, it's Caillou just getting forced back, almost. You can see a very, very aggressive push coming forward from uh, whether it be Lear taking a lucky shot at the beginning of, mm -hmm. off of the Odin or even just so much information coming through so early on from the defensive side that it leaves Caillou having to take those early engagements and then they just lose. And it, that's where things tend to go wrong. Luckily, St. Clair Saints taking that time out to really think things through, though. Yeah, and let's see what they've got for this next round. I mean, unfortunately, their buy isn't great. They're going to be seeing one judge come out. And how you also going for the Phantom as well. All very close to at least getting a couple more ultimates online. If Smiley is able to get that ultimate orb, which I think that they're playing around, that could allow for pretty easy entry. Bladestorm going to get popped by Paint, I believe, right off the bat. But Reform now has this operator and makes it work. They, they gave the op to the one who knows how to handle the op best. <laughs> and I don't blame them for it. Paint taking out the blade storm. So, you know, it kind of goes hand in hand with the vibe that we really want to see here. Lear, luckily enough, able to get a couple shots through and now seeing the spike as well. So they know it's dropped and they can finally fight this. Beth Giza pulled it through with a play of their own and still finding some damage. Anderson not doing much here. Still stuck up in heaven. 3v2 situation. And the advantage, you think it's stuck on thing. Thinking men. But you have the sight set down. Unfortunately, the spike's going to be a lot harder to pick up. So really looking for the fights, not actually redeeming the spike. Not playing the advantage. Instead, looking for the picks. And it leaves them in a bad position, thinking men 6-0. and oh. oh, my goodness. I mean, <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, listen, I talked about how frustrating it is sometimes to see the judge get played to almost a T like that. But in that case, Giza, you earned that one with how badly things have been kind of going. The judge finds so much value, almost able to get four kills right off of the bat. Oh, As the St. Clair Saints, they walk in there and dominate. But the thinking men, they accelerate the pace of their defense and it shows right off the bat. I will say at this point, the thinking men, too, have gotten the first blow every single yeah, round so far. Left. This is painful for the Saints right now. They're trying their best. I give them that, and it's so 
are thinking men honestly quite just on a roll and you need to bring that down to a certain level because that ego is really getting to their heads now caillou you really needing to win this fight out if they want to bring this back on the board leader is going to be such a huge problem now reform down towards the back side not the 1v1 caillou disciplined now and understanding this isn't the play they want to go for here oh but paint now has this operator and i'm not sure they're ready for this one instinct <sighs> Might get immediately taken out. Caillou at least able to get a first kill. And now it looks like they're ready to storm in through tree, but a lot of stall utility still available for the thinking. This is a good spot to be in though, especially now that you have that two player advantage. Yikes. Still looking for something. Paint's gonna be difficult with the off alone. Despite any sort of suppression coming down, maybe the op shots can work, but it's Saints finding themselves a spot on the board quite possibly it's anderson left alone all the way towards b with a quick rotation that could come through but regardless still 1v4 situation and kai with the ultimate blade storm still available yeah this is this is a good round a necessary round for the saints to pull themselves back into it seth going around for the flank there was so pivotal and on top of that too you saw the rest of the saints allowing that rotation to happen which made sure that they could secure the site they're playing a mm -hmm. lot more discipline this time around and i think it paid off fantastically anderson sure the last one left standing but a right click from the blade storm will make sure that anderson goes down still though the thinking men in an excellent position they've won six in a row that's the first for the saints and uh well the saints do have a lot of ultimates Here. moving into this next done and dusted first round on the board uh big congrats to saint Clair's because it feels like now they're starting to get in the groove of things that discipline kai you had backing off from taking that 1v1 even though you could clearly see they wanted it yeah it's it's exactly what you need don't worry i'll keep them now let's see how they want to engage this the null command pretty great tool especially to if you think you're moving into the kill droid but Vix tossing the zero point across the way and getting that suppression is so much information. I will point out though, Seth, making sure to hold down mid as well. Well, Paint just on the other side, but Anderson almost gets it. Paint comes out on top though, and that's gonna be Caillou already down just as this round starts off. Yeah, quick reaction with the op. Damn. Taking down Caillou once more, and we've seen with rounds where Caillou goes down early, it doesn't work out for the best, but the spike is alone in mid. And only one person there to really clear things up. They're just looking for a 1v1, Enemy trying to fight. isolate these Enemy fights, mark. but not much fight to isolate, especially with the teamwork that's happening there. He's a quick peek out. And unfortunately, gets taken down. So you have to weigh your options if you're the Saints right now. Do you push in onto A? I guess we gotta. Paints here with the operator. Killjoy utility set up. This oh. is an uphill battle. Ooh. Off shot doesn't work, but they know the op is there now. Smoking that off. Best. Down. Bet for sure. And a quick peek forward or formed in a good spot. Sitting alongside the op, finding some sort of vulnerability, but it's Saints left. fighting back. 2v3. And a flash that Vix can just pop out right here. Seth is expecting it. Looking around to see if they can play the anti. Unfortunately, time is working out in favor of thinking men with Anderson finding another one. And that goes back to the new golden rule of Valorant, which is just spray through your smokes. Oh, <laughs> yeah. man, if we saw that spray come through, oh, that would have been devastating. Yeah. Seth was in an excellent position to just find a collateral right off the bat. You saw the crosshair go over to the silhouettes, but unfortunately, just playing a little bit too patiently, didn't want to give up that information. And well, the flash was just perfect. Fantastic stuff once again. At least there were good trades coming through. So we're seeing those signs of life, but the thinking men, they're grouped up and they're able to just win out the numbers game. And just like that, seven to one. Things are looking more and more dire as these rounds continue to go and the Saints, they will buy up here, but it's not looking fantastic or solid. Well, the knife kind of pushed away. Um, unfortunate, but... Still good position to be in if you're SCC, not losing anyone just yet. Giza's giving themselves away. Oh. Oof. And that's one of the things I want to comment on, actually, because it feels like, okay, this must be incredibly tilting for Caillou, as it's just consistently, they're getting just gunned down. The rest of the team is not supportive there, so the jet completely getting diffed. At least the rest of the squad is able to get themselves onto this B site. The plant will come through. It is a 3v3 here. 
and uh, dueling lockdowns as well as a null command available for the St. Clair Saints. This could be another round, but it will be an ultimate expensive one. Powerless. To be completely frank, I don't really have much to play with here. Giza is set down. Absolutely no mollies, but you should run. that might still be a possibility. Paranoia not there, but a flash from Smiley that could keep them on the site if you are sane. The lockdown making things harder, but it allows a rush to come through. So many players tunneling themselves and Reform too scared to even peek it. Is the op still in here? But yeah, taken down regardless. A nice takeaway from Giza. Yeah, and that, that's an important one too, especially with how much value Reform was able to get off that operator. Unfortunately, though, it does seem like that's not going to be enough to stop the thinking men just yet. Reformed actually going for a Vandal this time, but excellent ultimate cycling coming in from the St. Clair Saints. First of all, you could tell thinking men, they were thinking about potentially using the lockdown just as a counter lockdown. Yeah. But given the fact that the null command gets activated, it slows down the tempo and then it just forces their hand based on the time clock. And so they make sure that they avoid that completely. Around. Flash Ooh. comes through, but Vic's able to find it as the Hunter Fury comes out very early. What a nice approach. This is very different, but it allows Reform to understand. Okay, I have the brace for impact. Quick push moving forward. And at least some of the damage made on Sex. So you assume that it would have worked out in favor of thinking that initial engagement really being taken away there. Yeah, down to this 2v3. Paint really far on the flank here. Might catch him surprised, but I like this position underneath heaven. Uh. Crown oh, so aching to get onto the site. That they just need to standing. fight back on dice, but of course, one, one health remaining. left. Probably the most unfortunate <gasps> position to be in. I thought they had it for a second there, but yeah, taking it back. Saints are not done with the game yet. Yeah, that, that's one of those moments where it's like, oh, man, the body block? Well, I guess I'll take less damage <laughs> then. Uh, and being able to survive, I mean, you risk the chance of a collat, but mm -hmm. thankfully it doesn't play out like that. So St. Clair Saints, they get yet another round in their favor. But I want to highlight one of the one of the matchups that we're consistently seeing, which is just Time outside of that B test. site, because there is so much value being generated from the Odins on the side of Thinking Men, Standing and Giza ahead. has not been able to figure it out just quite yet. Every single time Thinking Men decide to push out B, St. Clair Saints have to yield it. They're just simply not ready no matter what they do. And so that makes them so scared to take that space, allowing Thinking Men to get so much early information. Okay, the silence is good on the part of Saints. They knew that there was an aggressive take within the last round, so they're making sure before they decide on anything more. So slow this time. Mm -hmm. Now Paint gonna be the one who has to take the aggression. Tosses out one blade. Doesn't find any value, so the tailwind expires as well. And now it's just a rush upgrade. But now the alarm bot has actually caught out the aggression that's really been peeking through in mid. It's going to be even harder to try to get past reform, finding one of their own. But again, Lear left on side. Left. This is where things get a little harder. But thinking Five men down. leave and paint up to the task, playing on that jet position. And if there's anything that Saints have been really trying to aim for is winning out these 1v1. Seems like today is the day to aim immaculate and the confidence back. And you still got some of the ultimates left available to play for the post plant. Still good back off on Anderson. Anderson has to take this 1v2 right now. Try and shut it down. Their economy isn't fantastic, but full utility set available. Spots went out. Blinding. Oh, and that's perfect. Might have actually gotten both of them as well. Enemy. Seeing the head, finding the angle. If there's anything Anderson is good at, is taking the <gasps> TP and finding the victory. No shots. Anderson clutches it up. Perfect, Clutch. honestly, just perfect execution. The paranoia goes out, catches both of them exactly like you said. Goes for the shadow step as well. Finds Last the positioning, finds the, the timing onto Caillou. And then just drops down. It goes 1v1, mano a mano in the back of the site. 
just beside that boat, but honestly, Payne was the hero of that round. Made it so much more winnable. Being so quick, you know, you got those blades out. Thankfully, no movement error is going to be a thing, so you see Paint just go so aggressive, and that aggression gets rewarded 100%. Finding two quick kills, making it so much more winnable for Thinking Men, allowing Anderson's Clutch to come alive. And now the Thinking Men, they want the St. Clair Saints to think about that last round. They call a timeout. <laughs> this is the last round in the half, too, Gompers. I feel like this is a little bit of a power move. I don't know. It, I mean, it quite, it quite, it could be. It could either be that or them just saying, like, you know, taking the time. I, honestly, I, would you rather nine to three or would you rather eight to four half? Like, think about it for a second there. <laughs> oh, are we, are we superstitious? Let's establish that first. <laughs> I, I would prefer to go the higher number. I don't believe in the guys. You guys are going to hate me. I don't believe in the nine to three curse. I think it's all a sham. <laughs> I, I don't believe in it. Oh, man. So I should put my crystal ball away, huh? You're not going to want me to read your fortunes or anything? I mean, I'm down for a fortune read, but... <laughs> okay, I, I digress here. Uh, still, the timeout being taken. And yeah, this is a good opportunity right now for Thinking Men yeah. to find themselves up quite significantly. We are actually seeing Lear by a judge, so the economy isn't stable on both these squads, but he does have this opportunity. Oh, this is that first shot. That's an important one. I was expecting a jump peak, not a full swing. Which actually does not work out too well. Some damage being taken any. away from that. Here. Now. Just kind of being tossed out, but Caillou wants to go for it. It's a fast hit from the Saints, but paint just a little faster. Ah, oh, still holding it down as well. Luckily enough, out of the dash, kind of set and ready for an aggressive position like that one. But that's the last that they'll be able to see from that. From the information, okay. Tons of players sitting down inside of tree. Anderson waiting to get sneaky. I'm expecting some sort of TP to move on forward. Nice shot. Still finding some sort of opening down onto the site. And it's fixed. Left alone down underneath in hell. And the ops still up above. The lockdown doing a good job at pressuring these players backwards. But instead moving forward, looking to try to eliminate this one. And it's working out for Lear. Not the judge. Do not peek the judge. <laughs> well, okay, <laughs> sure. Just in the inside. kill feed, you see the judge get all the kills, but when you think about just the amount of defense together. that Thinking Men were putting we'll onto that lockdown as well, it was going to go that way regardless. You had Reform just around the corner there, had a rifle in hand, paint yeah. with an operator <laughs> looking down as well. It just happened to be that Lear was there, and a couple of plinks will make sure that the kill feed just gets lit up with the judge, but that one has got to hurt now. Well, the Saints, hopefully they're a little bit more superstitious because we're at this nine to three half. The Thinking Men, generally speaking, same with the Saints, actually, a little bit weaker on the attack. So this could be good for the Saints to start to accumulate rounds. But the Thinking Men have just done such a good job at really demoralizing their opponents. It's going to come down to the mental of the Saints to be able to hold on to this and get to that map number three. This pistol is incredibly important. It comes down to that mentality aspect that you talked about before. But Saints, they're doing a great job of holding Spike on. Down a. Already that three-player push, able to take majority of the players out from thinking. Man, now it leaves it up to Reformed. And uh, listen, we've seen some clutches from Reformed, but will it happen again? Is the question. <laughs> they're lighting up themselves up. They know that it's just the pistol, and uh, you know, even if a bullet goes through, like I said. It counts as a wall bang, so not going to be enough damage there. Oh, I take it back. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Reform was like, shut up. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hey, there's always one for Reform. Of course, of course. It's literally the meme of, uh, what's his name, Michael Jordan, being like, and I took that personally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Reform is good for it, but St. Clair Saints <laughs> back into it. They win that pistol yet again. Um, yeah. Not allowing the opportunity for the Thinking Men to start to generate six rounds in a row, which is pretty pivotal, as uh, they do have the weapon advantage going in through here. But it is going to be a little bit of aggression this time outside of B. And uh, with the Killjoy turret going down, they know that Outlaw's there, so I doubt that they will be aggressing. Looks like a little bit more mid-presence is uh, on the menu tonight. Silently, though. Working themselves up, thinking men will catch and reformed out. Giza. 
with a great position to take on. It's still actually trying to just scope these players One out as well. Remaining. Even blinded, oh, no. it doesn't matter. Insane's taken in the bonus, but I think they can, man, they, these might just be recyclable rounds to them because it, it seems like this run it down tactic is not like them at all. Everyone, note down your observations. This but a good is, flawless from Saints, yeah. This is so funny because with how the Saints handled that round was very reminiscent to how Thinking Men handled their second round when they were on the defense. It's a judge play yet again, an outlaw play yet again, that makes sure that it's so much more difficult for the attackers to go through. Excellent job just kind of holding those chokes. Let's see, though, if the St. Clair Saints will be able to win this third one, though, in this path. If they do, then they could be setting up for that kind of comeback that we are expecting. But thinking, man, they've got their rifles in hand. And they're ready to make a difference here. Already a lot of pressure being applied onto this A site. Some of the shots being fired, but pain is... Um... Not really getting much, if anything, just giving away the location of where the spike is. Pop flash out through mid could just lead to the death of so many players smiling, waiting for the perfect moment. And moment and timing has been on the side of SCC. Yeah, and they're not extending too far out, which I think is smart given their weaponry. Play a little bit more of those rattier angles, and that way you can maximize that judge, maximize those vectors. How you get that info. Waiting with the outlaw. Very, very strong weapon of choice. Again, 140 to the body, so you pretty much can eliminate anybody. In a matter of seconds, still looking at Caillou, though, slowly working themselves up. None of the damage being made, but Lear does a great job at creating some sort of diversion. Giza, not able to do much alone with a weapon like that one. And of course, the bonus round, not looking too good for the side of Saints, but they're still pulling together some sort of elim, taking out one at least on the side of Think. A lot of those health pools for Thinking Men are so low, which means that this utility could be even more deadly, and those bullets, they matter a lot more. Yeah, quick so movement though, moving up towards remaining. heaven again. Ooh, okay. So many numbers taken away. And thinking men back on the board. Lear just shoots one from backcourt and is able to find that shock bolt there at the exact same time as those other two kills come through. I talked about how low thinking men were. Yeah, the St. Clair Saints were just as low. And so this time around, thinking men, they get themselves to 10. St. Clair Saints only on five rounds. It's going to be buy-ups on both of these sides. Instinct going for that Odin as well, hoping to, you know, punish that B-side push a little bit. But the Thinking Men, aware that that might happen, are completely <laughs> abandoning it. And uh, they toss out that zero point fairly early on to get a little bit of information, but nothing quite so gained surprised. just yet as they start to meander their way up, look to potentially move into tree. Saints are definitely taking an aggressive hold. So one moment, one peaks come through. Their main aim is to find that first engagement, but a quick rush moving forward. Caillou luckily running away with their life. Those Saints, they have so much damage already done to them that it might not work out for the best regardless. Still holding on to everything they can. Thinking men still, though, finding themselves on the side of free one take paint, Just looking for more and up to one instinct with the Odin. Switching things over, they've given away the noise. They know exactly where they are. They can see the vision and instinct size, but the Owl Drone's still I available. Planted. Not to mention, now Getting the recon to come through. They don't know where they are, and they're crossed One held as well. Remaining. Once they drop down, they could still fight down inside of Hell in the slow peak forward. All they need to do is wait, but they don't. Thinking men <gasps> taken away by instinct. Oh man, the clutch coming through from Instinct. First of all, good instincts, haha, -ha, to pick up that <laughs> Vandal instead because, yeah, that Odin just wasn't going to do it there. We'll even be able to pick that one up at the end, but I love the way that Paint was playing. Take a look at those kills. Paint just flying around, makes it all the way to the back line, easy pickings off of the St. Clair Saints, and secures the site even though it was such an unwinnable position at first. A clutch play from Paint makes sure that spike can go down and force Instinct's hand, but thankfully the Saints, they pull it back and they're ready to go. Will be a little bit of a weird buy on both of these sides with the weapons very securely Get and then taging. Advantaging, is that a verb? Uh, still a good sign for the Saints as a Paint takes that Blaze Storm and is already running it down. 
Okay, well, Paint is not there. The, the drone hitting them at the same time, Paint hitting them as well. Seems like it doesn't matter at the end of the day, thinking men just know how to handle around. Like this one, aggressively straight to the point and take everybody out full force. Pedal to the metal. They know they can pick up some vandals now as well, but they haven't yet. Caillou still sticking to the extremities and again, Steph as well, finding it difficult to find themselves back onto site and the shots just don't miss. Slow peak possible to move forward. Yeah. Reform just waiting within the smoke. Uh, th that was a brilliant round, Marks. Yeah, it really was. And on top of that, too, once again, I mean, I just highlighted paint, but I feel like we have to highlight paint again. Yeah. Taking so much room, just flooding in through market, clears that one out completely, goes into the back line, and more or less just opens up the rest of the site. You could tell that the Saints were crumbling under the pressure that this jet is placing on them. And just like that, it's a bad buy coming in from the St. Clair Saints. Sheriffs across the board, thinking men looking to get themselves on series point. If they win out this round, which it looks like they should be able to do, getting close as well to having the Hunter's Fury online. Lear just needs one more kill. Well, Instinct also does need just one more. Those ultimates could be huge for the St. Clair Saints. Oh, the Odin. Harsh reality, second headshot in Lear. Bye. How are they running away with One enemy remaining. shots like these, thinking men for forcing the early engagement that Saints were looking for to be a punishment? That's got to hurt so bad. And now Seth is just looking for something, putting themselves out in the open and forcing a fight to happen. But a flawless round coming through from thinking men and not to mention the match point that might match lead them point. to a possible victory. Yeah, once again, I mean, this is this is the thing. It's been so consistent for thinking men to find those opening picks. We saw that on their defense, but now we're seeing it again on the attack. And it feels like when that first opening pick happens, the St. Clair Saints, they kind of fall into it. They're like, OK, now we have to commit because we've already lost somebody. So we have to make this worth it. As a result, yeah. they just end up losing more. And it's very quickly falling apart for them. Thankfully, they will be able to buy up. Are you going to be going for the Blade Storm here? I'm thinking, man, they've got so much room to work with, and they're looking extremely comfortable. The aggressive take didn't work out too well before. As we did get to see yep, Lear with the Odin. Honestly, you, this is the worst position to be in if you are Saint. If you're moving out to take an aggressive angle on an Odin and three other players by yourself, with no util, it, it's pretty much a kiss goodbye Ooh. at that. Now everybody else watching the angle. Of course, they tried that time to have some sort of partnership. The Saints getting shut down immediately. Hunter Suri trying to find some sort of savior. And Anderson gets out scot free. Run. Yeah, but they've got the lockdown ready to go. Instinct just on the other side here. Yeah, Could apply already. pressure with this Odin. Tosses up the recon dart to get no that information. Run. We'll do that. But yeah, look at this. It's just all the ultimates in the world being tossed out now. Oh. Uh. Thought it might have worked out. Maybe have found one. Giza's just pulling through with the shots. And now it's up to instinct, though. 1v2, they've made it easier. But a possible resurrection that they could force in a moment like this one. But they know instinct has the Odin. One second of sound could lead to the end of many. And of course, reform just ends it off with a headshot. Thinking men, a big congratulations to that 2-0 take across the board i, I mean a very 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 good win 100 percent. i mean once again we talked about this in the pre-show uh, we were not expecting thinking men to be the ones who were going to be able to win things out onto ascent yeah they looked a little bit shaky according to their match history here and you know, Sinclair Saints, this is kind of like their home ground. And yet the thinking men, they did not lay off for a second, consistently finding those early pickoffs, making it so much more difficult. And it's just the constant pressure that St. Clair Saints were feeling. They just simply could not come back. The thinking men came in and they conquered. They did more than conquer. They stood their ground and they made sure to tell this team and to let this team know 
these remaining. are the bosses. And I, it's it's so immaculate too because we get to see every single player shine every single moment when it comes to this team of pain in moments of dire situations where they need to clear the site he's always there to take the entry anderson with tps that should not work but they tend to and clutches yeah and it, it just immaculate clutches it's it's moments like these that really set the tone for this team and show who this team really are we talked again about lear taking on that igl role and I will have to say it makes it so easy and also so amazing to have a great IGL, but it also makes it really, really easy to be an IGL when you have a team that's willing to listen and really, really in, like just dive into every single play and do a great job at that. And once again, this highlights one of those points that I was making. 15 first kills for Thinking Men there, while the St. Clair Saints only got four. And you highlight Lear as well as that IGLing role, sure, but at the same time, that Odin was devastating in his hands. The Odin found so much value getting multi kills so often <laughs> or doing so much damage before the rounds even kicked off. And so the thinking men were just ad they were just in such a great position as this map started off and well deserved win. Once again, advancing through the bracket. It feels, you know, kind of saddening in a sense as well. Uh, yeah. Saints, they I'm not going to lie, like they deserved the spot that they were in like they really ran it through the lure bracket run and of course it's unfortunate that it does have to come to an end right here they've been through a lot when it came down to it but you know they fought for their lives they put a really really good showing in obviously we saw some good stuff come through uh, from the side of st Clair. but again it's just really what comes down to it thinking men pulling through with the victory you see 23 and 13 coming through from paint they pulled through five first kills as well wow yeah, paint was just kind of popping off. I mean, I highlighted a little bit of the play there, but it yeah. felt like on Lotus, it, we didn't get to see that kind of come into play as much as we might maybe should have. But on Ascent, man, paint just took off and was just such a presence. And you could tell the confidence was, was just flowing. And maybe that's just because, you know, we've seen Ascent so many times. But regardless of the reason there, the thinking men, they're able to make their way through this matchup yeah. almost pretty much unscathed. They, they put everything they could into this game. I feel like both teams did. Obviously, it, it is important. We talked prior about the importance of this game. It's not only the thing that'll push you to that quote unquote final boss to make sure you qualify, but it's also uh, the one thing really keeping you al alive, right? Within Challenger. So it, it is pretty heartbreaking, but at the same time, a huge congratulations to Thinking Men. They move forward and they are able to go up against yeah. Blinn, which is going to be terrifying on its own so we're going to be able to see who qualifies in that next game of course though for now we're going to take a quick break so please go grab a snack enjoy yourself for the next couple minutes before you start to stress again because that game is going to be very very stressful <laughs> i hope you guys have an amazing night we'll see you guys next time because you're going to have keg and of course tenric coming onto the desk so have a great night we'll see you very very shortly after this break for more valorant na challengers